um, your opponents. Obviously, you took a look at Benin and who they were and what threat they posed. I'm sure the homework has been done on Rwanda and how you're going to line up your men tomorrow. How are you? How are you going to start tomorrow? The start. Uh, I mean, I, based on based on your opponents, obviously, coach. Yeah, we we need tomorrow. We need uh, yes, eleven warriors on the field. Um, we don't have to think about good football and uh, a nice football. No, we uh, have to think about uh, fighting. And um, <clears throat> we will see uh, how we are going to do it tomorrow with, uh, with which players. For the moment, we have to wait for the, for the last training. Uh, Motobi and Vala uh, went out uh, injured. Uh, I don't know if we will be ready for tomorrow. Um, Modiba um, was complaining about his knee also or before the game of, um, of Benin. Uh, but he could play, so I hope that he can play tomorrow also. We had Magopa, who went out uh, against the Benin. Um, I think he will be ready for tomorrow, but let's wait first um, the last training in a couple of hours and then see uh, who will be for 100% ready for tomorrow, because I don't think we can make, take a risk to put a player on that pitch with on 75 or 80 percent of his uh, of his possibilities so mm -hmm. you have to be 100 percent fit coach how confident are you i know confidence is brimming in the last two years bafana bafana have done exceptionally well under your tutelage how i mean there's an afghan which i know is on our doorstep but how confident are you that this crop of players that we see now since you've taken over as coach have the capabilities to take us all the way to 2026? Um, I'm very confident. Um, the confidence grown uh, the last uh, the last years. Every, every day, every camp, uh, I, I believe more and more in the group even and it changes, it changes uh, often in the, in the past. But uh, when you see a little bit now, the last camps, it's nearly always the same players. Um, so that means that uh, I, as a coach, found my team and um, I have a confidence in that team. I see them playing so for the last uh, three, four games. Uh, we played against good, so good opponents, we played very good games. So there is a lot of quality and a lot of potential in that group. Uh, sometimes we don't believe enough in our own uh, qualities. So. Uh, I said it already a few times to the group. I said, listen, this is a quality group. Just believe in your qualities. And more and more I see that they do it. So um, it's very important, certainly for a game like tomorrow, uh, when it's not, or will, be, will not be a normal game. So uh, if then you can come on the pitch with the confidence, um, then, uh, then yes, then I think um, you did already the first work to, uh, to, to have a victory. I think a player brimming with confidence is Kuriso Mudao after scoring. And when I chatted to him, he said, well, first and foremost, I'm a defender. But my coach told me that I could go up and I could do it. And so I guess the confidence he needed. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I have to be honest, I, I doubted on him, uh, let's say, one year ago. Uh, and for me, he was, uh, he was always a good offensive right back. But um, yeah, the defensively he was not what I wanted from a from a, from a back. So uh, he progressed a lot the last uh, six seven months. And uh, when you see him playing now, full of confidence, not only doing his offensive job, but also his defensive job. Look at the game he played in Ivory Coast. So I, I think um, yes, we have a very good player there on that uh, on that position. And you can help us not only as a right back, but also a little bit even as a right <laughs> offensive player. Yeah. And this is uh, something uh, that uh, crucial in a good team. When uh, when sometimes everything is blocked, that you have guys from behind who can create the space and it can uh, can be dangerous. So we scored now last game, but he only uh, nearly scored also in Ivory Coast. Mm. So um, yes, I'm very happy with him for the moment.